everybody does something they're not proud of. Something you would never think about doing. It's so strange how quickly your thoughts can be altered by emotions. That feeling. That horrible, disgusting, amazing feeling. Of just wanting something so much that it consumes everything you know. It disables you from deciphering wrong from right. My name is Doug Briggs. I've never really thought of myself as a violent person. But then again, what do your thoughts have to do with reality anyways? The morning was rough as always. I had to wake up at 8.30 for work. I went through my normal routine. I woke up, put on my glasses, checked the time, and then got ready to leave. In school, I always kept to myself. There was this one kid, Chris, who was the closest thing I ever had to a friend. But in sixth grade, he moved, and I haven't talked to him since. Even the love of my life doesn't know I exist. Her name's Nicole Summers. <laughs> ever since Miss Goldberg's second grade class, I've been in love with her. Her hair, those big brown eyes, the way she walks, the way she talks, just everything about her amazes me. In my eyes, she's perfect. I've always wanted to have a close group of friends, but I never did. Throughout my whole life, I just never seemed to fit in. All the different groups in high school, jocks, Nerds, emos, burnouts. It seemed everybody had a place but me. Somewhere along the lines, I fell between the cracks of society. When I was six, my parents got divorced. Legally, I had to stay with my dad. And since then, well, he's taken all his anger out on me. <sighs> School was just as rough. Kids would pick on me, beat me up in the halls. If it wasn't for my job, I wouldn't have had anyone to talk to. Maybe it was the trail I had to take every day to work that did it to me. Having to walk 20 minutes through the woods, ending up in front of no other than her house. One night I stood outside in the freezing cold, just trying to build up the courage to talk to her, but I couldn't. Instead I just stood there, staring at her for hours. Work was boring as usual. Until now. Here she is with her stupid boyfriend. 
who couldn't care less about her. This is where today got kind of crazy. It was right at this moment when I felt something new, something different. It was courage. It gave me the strength to do something I thought I never could. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I acted out of impulse, but, but but now there's nothing I can do to take it back.
It was an accident. I would never mean to kill somebody. I, I didn't mean to do it, darling. I'm sorry. The thought of ending someone's life is it's just too much for me to go on. I, I can't go through life knowing I ended somebody else's like that. I, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Nicole. I love you both. I keep wondering if what I did was worth it. But all I can do is hope. Yeah. 